Welcome to In Focus with Silvana Pavlovska. Today we have a letter from one of our <coughs> subscribers and I um, would like to be able to share it with you. The title of this letter is The Case for Improving the United Macedonian Diaspora's Government Regulations Policy in Macedonia, the United States and the European Union and for transforming its soft power. This letter, open letter, is written by Mr. Ordan Andreevsky from Melbourne, Australia. The letter says the following. Since 2004, the United Macedonian Diaspora has made a positive and significant impact by developing and implementing a wide range of programs, policies and initiatives with key stakeholders that were closely aligned with the needs of Macedonia and its diaspora. In 2018, the UMD, or the United Macedonian Diaspora, board made a sensible policy decision of not engaging with an, a legitimize and legitimizing the newly installed regime in Macedonia uh, by the United States and the European Union. This was based on the regime breaching the political contract with the Macedonian people, it declared, when taking of office on the 16th of May 2017. It promised to, one, guarantee the protection of the unitary character, sovereignty, territorial integrity, independence and multi-ethnic character of the Republic of Macedonia. Two, guarantee the constitutional order and territorial entirety of the Republic of Macedonia. Three, guarantee the protection of state interests and the improvement of life for all citizens, irrespective of ethical, religious or uh, linguistic background, ethnic as well. Four, guarantee that the process for making decisions for the citizens of the Republic of Macedonia will be in accordance with the basic democratic principles and rule of law and not bring the Republic of Macedonia in a situation of subjugation or dependence on another country. The regime breached its political contract by illegally signing the PRESPA agreement and by bribing and blackmailing opposition MPs to vote for it. This caused great ongoing harm to Macedonia's identity, democracy, history and human rights. It went against the democratic wishes of the Macedonian electorate at referendum, the Macedonian constitution and the Macedonian diaspora, which categorically rejected the PRESPA disaster. In 2023, the UMD board controversially changed its government relations policy position without consultation, approval or voting by its members, the advisory board and the Macedonian people and the Macedonian diaspora it claims to serve and represent. It also failed to recognize the harm done by the Macedonian regime and its Western backers to Macedonian identity, democracy and human rights of its people, including the Macedonian diaspora. This year, UMD organized a celebration of Old New Year at the Macedonian Embassy in Washington, D.C., which has a Northern Macedonia plaque uh, on its premises and an ambassador who is sadly promoting this false national identity in the United States. Board members met with the unelected Prime Minister Kovacevsky and the Foreign Minister Osmani in Washington, D.C. The board forgot that the regime is holding political prisoners in Macedonia who tried to save the Republic of Macedonia from the PRESPA capitulation and its corrupted domestic and foreign political and financial backers. Osmani's political party, DUI, openly supports the breakup of Macedonia. Yeah. <coughs> 
and um, we're continuing on from there. So Smani political party DUI or DUI openly supports the breakup of Macedonia, the creation of Greater Albania by force and the rehabilitation of former Albanian Nazis from Second World War. Provocative and illegal KLA statues can be found across Macedonia. UMD's director for Macedonia secretly attended the 2023 PRESPA Dialogue Forum without member and advisory board knowledge or approval. Instead of holding the regime to account, on the 20th of July 2023, that is yesterday, um, European time, UMD invited the illegitimate president Pendarovsky, who supports the PRESPA agreement, to speak at the UMD symposium in Skopje. The UMD decision of engagement with anti-Macedonian regimes fails, to, uh, fails the good policy test due to lack of transparency and rigor in policy make decision making. It is not based on consent from key stakeholders, including members, advisory board members, and Macedonian civil society in Macedonia and globally. There was no justification of the need for the policy change. There was no factual evidence to support the policy change. It fails to answer what public interest objectives is the policy serving. The board failed to consider alternative solutions with an analysis of advantages and disadvantages. The policy decision-making process did not consult key internal and external stakeholders who care for Macedonia's past, present and future. The policy decision was not debated, scrutinized, critically appraised or voted on before it got adopted. There is no information online on the UMD's website and social media about the policy. The UMD board has a duty to protect, to protect and advance the interests of the organization and the Macedonian diaspora. It depends on for survival and legitimacy. There are, they are bound to apply the founding values and principles of the charity. All UMD policies are traced back to the board members, directors and their deliberations. The board has, heavily, has heavy ethical responsibilities to members, the Macedonian diaspora and Macedonian society. The fact that something can be done does not mean that it should be done. Sitting on a table or at a table with anti-Macedonian government officials is not good government relations policy. Tools are available to improve the quality and character of UMD decisions that are both good and right. The UMD board needs to discharge its ethical responsibilities by respecting the core values and principles of the Macedonian diaspora and by demonstrating their practical application through their decision-making and conduct. Way too much discretionary power is held by the UMD president, who sometimes makes poorly thought through poorly thought through group decisions without consulting anyone on only or only a tiny group of board members. The UMD board does not have the democratic right to speak on behalf of the Macedonian diaspora or the Macedonian people. At best, it represents the views of the board and not necessarily of all members, let alone the Macedonian diaspora across the world. The board is not a democratically elected body. It does not hold regular elections um, every three to four years. Uh, it is not a de facto Macedonian Ministry of Foreign Affairs empowered to negotiate with or appease anti-Macedonian regimes in Macedonia, the United States or the European Union. Actual or perceived despotism in organizations and society can be uprooted through democratic means. This includes holding elections for board members and restricting the terms of the role of president and chair of the board to two terms maximum. The United Macedonian Diaspora Charity Organization's current president 
has been in office since 2004. Macedonians in Macedonia and in the diaspora have a right to know how policies are made, who approves them and who benefits. They will reject policy decisions made secretly in and without due democratic processes and accountability. Calling out bad behavior and policies is a critical part of maintaining quality policy making and sustainability at the United Macedonian Diaspora Charity Organization and beyond. The UMD has attracted excellent young accomplished Macedonian patriots from across the world. These people from our diaspora are serving on the board or as members or sponsors. The UMD board relies on the advice and support from the president and the chair, the advisory board and the goodwill of the Macedonian diaspora. Let us work collectively to improve our impact. Let us not throw out the baby with the bath water. That was a letter sent to InFocus um, and the letter has been written by Mr. Ordan Andreevsky. Uh, it's titled The Case for Improving UMD's Government Relations Policy in Macedonia, the United States and the European Union and for transforming its soft power. Thanks for listening. We'll be in touch soon.